My name is Valentina V. I am a director, cinematographer, and editor out of Los Angeles. For this particular NAB, Adobe gave me a task. They said, hey, we are rolling out this collaboration technology with Frame.io where you can shoot, collaborate, edit, export, give notes, all within the Adobe family. It's called Frame.io for Creative Cloud. Can you collaborate with some filmmakers and make something for us? We put our brains together and we decided, okay, I think the best way to showcase this technology is to make a concept trailer that is a sci-fi short in of itself. So I got together with some of my friends from around the internet. That is me. I directed and wrote this project. Ryan Connolly was my second unit director. Kyle Hamrick was our VFX and compositing wizard. And then John Brandon Cruz was our third unit director. Frame.io for Creative Cloud streamlines workflows. So all your collaborators can shoot, import, edit, export, comment, all in the same spot. My scenes would take place in the restaurant. Everyone else's scenes would take place in other places and we would ping back and forth between the scenes. While Ryan was shooting, I was in the editing bay, literally putting these shots together, seeing if these match shots worked. So imagine I'm in the editing bay right now and I've just started my day and I need to, Ryan's shots are coming in and I need to see if they match, right? So right now, um, one thing that is super awesome about Creative Cloud and Premiere Pro is that the Frame.io panel is built in. The review panel is built in. So all you have to do is go to Window, Review with Frame.io, and there you have your panel with all your projects and all your footage. And because this was shot on a camera to cloud compatible camera, the Arri Alexa with a Teradek Cube, as soon as Ryan pressed stop on his camera, I received the proxy immediately. I was able to test it, see if it worked, and give him feedback live. I'm watching Ryan, I'm watching his footage come in. Um, I'll go into the Frame.io panel, and as soon as his footage com comes in, it populates in this folder right here. I wanna do a little bit of a test immediately, send it to him while he's still on set, and make sure that he knows whether or not it matches. But essentially, um, I'm trying to line up the eye lines. And as you can see, it's just not working. You can upload directly from your timeline. So I upload the active sequence, and I say match test, C2, or take two, scene, scene two, take one, right? And keep rendered file, auto version, not the whole sequence, or the whole sequence in and out, doesn't matter, it's the same thing, and then I click upload. You now no longer have to uh, wait for the export to happen, wait for the file to be on your computer, then go into Frame.io on your browser, upload it into there, then send the link. All of your collaborators have a notification pop up as soon as it happens, and they see what that file is, and they can check it out if it works or not. It was the same thing with our graphics and uh, John Brandon Cruz's shoot. So he was shooting on Filmic Pro on his iPhone because it was a streamer scene. He was doing a remote shoot as well, and this was coming in straight off his iPhone. So I was leaving him all of these comments so that he knew. Uh, what I want, and then I was putting them in the edit and making sure that I had everything that I needed as I was editing it. The huge advantage of this, especially for teams, is that you can start editing while you're shooting at the same time. And then I went ahead and started building the actual video. Then I'll export it. So I just went into my main folder here, upload, active sequence, into out, the box V1, and then I just hit export. And that way everyone could comment on the takes, comment on what they're seeing, and give me feedback in real time as I'm editing. And then what's great is I can line up those comments to my video and see it on my timeline in real time. So I'll put my playhead at the very beginning of the video, and I'll click link playheads. And that way I can go through and it will link uh, all the comments with the current cut and my playhead. That's it for me. Thank you so much for your time. Um, I will be just off to the side if you have any questions.